Welcome to Novotech Media. In this video, we are going to talk about Python and we are going to implement our own project. This is going to be a plagiarism checker using scikit-learn and we are going to create the entire project in this video in Python. This is going to be a video in a series of videos where we are going to tackle Python from different angles and try to learn the programming language building really cool projects. I have opened my uh, editor, so I'm going to use Visual Studio Code. The first thing we're going to do is create a file. So I'm going to call it checker.py. And we will also need to create some text files, which are actually going to contain the files that we're going to check for plagiarism. So this is going to work in a following way. We're going to have different files and we're going to cross check every file with every file to see what their similarities are. So let us get started by introducing new files. It could be anything, any topic that you're interested in. So I'm going to call the first one uh, lorem1.txt. So this is going to be a lorem ipsum file and we're going to have two of those. So let us start with the first one. I'm going to create the second one and then I'm going to create something that I generally like watching, which is uh, Rick and Morty .txt. And I'm going to create another file, uh, which is Star Wars. So those files are going to contain some different text. Uh, let us start with the lorem ipsum one. Um, so I have prepared the text already, so you could basically just Google lorem ipsum English and you could find this. Um, then I'm going to have a second one. Let, the, let us paste the second one in here. Let us save the file. Um, then I'm going to find something Rick and Morty specific and I'm going to paste it in here. So basically the, the text files come from Wikipedia. Um, and I'm going to paste the Star Wars um, text in here. And this looks quite good. Um, the next thing that you will need is Anaconda. Um, I'm going to use Anaconda because I'm on Windows and this is basically the most um, error-proof way to run Python code, especially if you're using some machine learning and uh, specific libraries in Python. If you're going to use Linux or Mac OS, you don't need Anaconda. You can just run it. Um, you can just install it natively on your OS. So let us continue. So the first problem that we are going to have is how are we actually going to compute the values? So we know that we can't uh, do too much with text. We're going to need to convert the text into numbers. In order to do that, we are going to use a technique called word embedding, which is basically the process of converting text into an array of numbers. So we could also write our own um, algorithm for that, but we could also use scikit-learn. So we're going to use scikit-learn in order to save a lot of time by using those inbuilt functions and libraries. The next question is, how are we going actually to detect the similarity between the words? And there is a very good technique uh, to do that, which is called dot product. And we're going to calculate the cosine similarity between them. Um, so marked here as similarity. This is basically our cosine similarity between two texts. So those are going to be our four texts that we have mentioned here, and we're going to cross check each and every with each and every one. Um, so we can also use a similarity function provided by scikit, which is actually going to give us exactly what is described here. So in order not to write our own function that is going to sum all the indexes of the vectors, uh, a at position i, uh, b at position i, uh, till n, and then calculate the root of the squares of each element and then um, uh, multiply those two. In order to save us time, we can again use a scikit library that's going to provide us that. And as you maybe have noticed here, um, a lot of the machine learning stuff that seems very complex just basically boils down to knowing which library and function to use. Of course, if you go into data science, it's much more complicated than that, but implementing basic machine learning algorithms mostly boils down to exactly that. So let us actually start writing some code. Okay. 
as I have already mentioned earlier, those are going to be um, the libraries um, that we are going to need to calculate our cosine similarity. The next part is going to be to read all the files using a list comprehension. So we can name um, our input files like plague files, which is going to stand for uh, plagiarism files. So, what have we done here? The first part is, as already mentioned, trying to import our files. We are going to create a list comprehension here and we are going to check if our document ends with txt because we only want to import txt files. After that, we need to write two functions. We want to vectorize our files and we want to compute the similarity between those two. We are going to create a lambda function here so basically a lambda function is a single line function that is declared without a name which can, any num which can have any number of arguments. So basically we could have also written two separate functions and declared a just, just a normal Python function to use this, but in this case I decided to go with a lambda function. Um, so let us first start with the similarity here. Basically, we're just going to use the imported cosine similarity to calculate it between um, the document one and document two, which is then going to create the inner products of those two vectors and calculate the similarity. And we're going to vectorize our functions. And again, we are going to uh, fit transform our imported text to an array. Uh, which is basically just going to give us back a vector and um, we now need our vector files we are going to use the function remember lambda is a function that we have declared here which is going to have the plague nodes the files that we have uh, I mean the text that is that was contained within the files that we have imported and we are going to compute the vector so the next part is going to be to actually define a function that is going to do the plagiarism check so, let us get started. Okay, what does this code mean? We have, get, uh, we have calculated our S vectors, um, which is going to contain our file so this is going to be our file a and this is actually going to be the text vector within it so if you print this out I have um, printed this out so you can see how this looks like as you can see we have an array and we have the name of it so the name is going to be the first parameter here uh, which is going to be uh, plug a and the text vector is basically going to be our array here um, so we are deconstructing the value from it um, then we are creating new vectors, we are copying the file, um, we are getting the index, um, after that we are deleting the index and we are going to calculate the similarity within it. So since this is going to be an inner product, we are going to need um, two for loops. So basically what we are doing is creating an inner product um, and checking each and every value with the other value. So we are cross-checking um, every value from the first array with every value from the second array. So for that we're going to need a second for loop. Let us start with that. Okay, this is going to be our second loop where we are again going to deconstruct our new vector that we have copied here. We are going to calculate the similarity. Don't forget um, our lambda function that we have created up here um, where we provide our um, two input parameters. 
um, we are going to sort those. This is just basically so when we return all values um, that we return them in a sorted way, uh, we are going to get our score. We are going to add the score to the set and this set is going to be our result. Uh, then we are going to loop through it because we need to compare each document with every document and after that we are going to print our data. So let's actually test our code out. And everything we have to type is Python um, check checker.py. And we have an error here. Okay, this was a um, typo in our import. Let's hope again. And great, only one error. Um, so let's see our scores. Um, lorem ipsum 1 is very close to lorem ipsum 2, as expected. It has a similarity score of 0, 5. And if you go into the text, those are two different texts. But what I have done is I have copied um, those two sentences um, into our lorem ipsum 2 file. So if we, for example, remove one of those and only have one um, sentence that is copied, as you can see, our similarity score has dropped a little bit, but it is still there. Um, it would also make sense to see what scores are actually feasible and usable. But as you can see, um, this is working. If you remove this completely, there are of course going to be similarities because a lot of words are similar. But as you can see, it dropped to 0 0.35. Uh, and there are a few sentences that are very similar and most probably if you wrote um, some documentation or something for the university, for example, a paper, research paper, this would be kind of um, a little bit of plagiarism. Um, so the results actually make sense. And if you compare, for example, Star Wars uh, with, with our um, lorem ipsum text, it is 0 0.2. There are, of course, words that are similar, but we can see that our program is working. Of course, this can be tuned and tweaked uh, by a lot, uh, but this is very good for a basic plagiarism checker in 30 lines of code in Python. So if you liked the video and you would recommend uh, maybe projects that are interesting for you, leave comments down below um, or participate in the votes to see what project we can go next with. Also, you can go to noveltechmedia.com Check the courses out there if you're interested for more or just leave comments down below for what course you would like to see next. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.